are going to write a couple of our words down. The PM attentive on a visit to a school in South London, but the words he's really waiting on are those written in Sue Gray's report. After months of waiting, her investigation into illegal gatherings in Downing Street and Whitehall due this week. With great respect, not going to uh, comment or give any running commentary on uh, her report until we get it. And I, I think that, to be frank, the moment is not very far off. Um, can't be long now before I'll be able to say something, but I really want to wait, as I've said, uh, for a long time now, until soon. No running commentary, but tonight fresh pictures emerging of the Prime Minister drinking in Downing Street at an apparent leave and do in November 2020, when the country was told to stay at home except for limited reasons. And all the while, the PM insisted no guidance was broken. Will the Prime Minister tell the House whether there was a party in Downing Street on the 13th of November. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no, but I'm sure that in, in whatever happened, uh, the guidance was followed and the rules were followed at all times. Not the police's verdict. Fines were issued for this event, although the Prime Minister escaped a penalty. The Lib Dems tonight write into the Independent Office for Police Conduct, asking them to explain why that was, saying it's undesirable for the public to be left in the dark. Labour also demanding explanations. I think people are going to ask questions and that's for the police to answer. But Are you going to ask questions? Well, I think the police have to answer those questions quite clearly on why they didn't think that was breaking the rules. But I know for certain that Boris Johnson knows that he's had dozens of parties now in Number 10. It's pretty clear that he was toast in the, at these events when he said he didn't know that any parties had occurred. When the Sue Gray report comes out, it will be ugly. From civil servants behaving, to quote one figure, in an indefensible manner, to the failure of leadership from Boris Johnson and his senior team. But the Prime Minister's trump card is that the Met, despite all the uncomfortable photos and evidence, haven't issued him with multiple fines. And while the pressure, of course, will build around the publication of the Grey report, the acid test is will Boris Johnson's MPs attempt to unseat him. And for now, they seem to have other matters on their minds. For those in marginal seats in the north of England, success at the next general election won't be determined by events that took place two years ago, but instead by the action the government takes now. My constituents aren't talking about Partygate. Particularly in the north, in what we call the Red Wall, they're talking about the challenges for the cost of living. They want the government to really focus on issues that matter to them. In the coming days, at least, the focus will be back on this place and the culture behind this door. Beyond that, and after the cobwebs of Partygate lift, it's the public who will need to decide. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.